What is up, everyone? This is the Phantom 0288 here, and today we got a very upsetting um, amount of news from a developer that I have come to love and adore, and I've bought almost every single game they ever made. And, um, I'm getting a little emotional here just because the, um, the impact that this studio has made on my life, um, just in the amount of joy and smiles I've gotten from them, um, Telltale Games, um, announced today on September 21st, 2018, that they are, um, closing down, and, uh, they were going to finish up The Walking Dead final season with 25 employees, and, uh, after that, they will be no more. And, um, that makes me sad. Um... To see no the the Wolf Among Us two uh, not happen, um, to see another season of Batman not happen, um, and there, there's never going to be another Poker Night game, um, never another Sam and Max game. Well, I mean, ne never say never, but um, you know, um, it's it's sad. Uh, I was really looking forward to seeing what Telltale would do next, and uh, we knew that they were in financial issues a few months ago when they laid off people, and uh, said they were decreasing their development um, to, I think, four, pro four games, um, and uh, then you kind of knew that the company was in trouble, um, but, um, yeah, so... It's um, really sad. And what's the cause of this? Why? Um, I mean, I, 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 I thought the games were selling good. I thought people enjoyed them. I mean, look back a few years ago when um, Telltale was in its prime with The Walking Dead, the game, and everyone was talking about Clementine and, and um, how much they loved it. It won Game of the Year that year. And then it seemed like after that... Um, things just kind of got stagnant. I mean, their um, games were constantly criticized for bugs and glitchiness with the Telltale engine, the tool. They use a Telltale tool. Um, but, I mean, I personally love them. Um, so, uh, I, I think one of the main things that I speculate is is a culprit, and I, I don't want to uh, you know assume, but I think being narrative driven games and where there's not much gameplay, it's mostly story. I think a lot of people would just pull up a video on YouTube and watch a let's play of it, and I think story driven games in general. Um, are detriment YouTube is detrimental to that, in my opinion, um, because instead of experiencing it for yourself, you can experience it through someone else. And then, w why would you go out and buy it if you already know what's going to happen? I mean, the gameplay-wise, there wasn't much. It was all basically quick time events, and and I never complained. I loved it. I mean. My the last Telltale game I really enjoyed was season two of Batman, and I love the way that ended. I mean, Joker was amazing, and um, I I I really, really was hoping to see what would happen next, but um, yeah, that's not gonna happen apparently. So unfortunately, um, it looks like. Uh, most of the employees, I think there was 250, uh, are now in searching for a no, new job, and I hope them that they all uh, find find new positions. Um, maybe eventually, uh, uh, Telltale can be resurrected, not in name, but um, you know, uh, maybe in some of the development team can 
open a new studio and uh, continue making games like they have been. I hope. Um, I hope, if anything, um, another development studio picks up the the licenses or the rights to the games that they were making and continues them. But who's to say? Um, I would love to see um, another season of Batman. I would love to see another uh, season of The Wolf Among Us. And, um, yeah. Just, I just wanted to take a moment to say to the whole development team at Telltale, if you're seeing this video, thank you for the hard work and the passion that you put into every single one of your products. Whether it be Sam and Max, whether it be the Poker Night, whether it be The Walking Dead, uh, Back to the Future, um, Game of Thrones, every single game that you, that you ever put out, thank you for the hard work that you did. I enjoyed them so much, and when I was in a really dark time, your games brought joy to my life. So, thank you the bottom of my heart. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.